Greetings gamers! I've been working on a new game called Incoming. Incoming is a 3D VR missile defense game. Protect your cities with a wide assortment of defenses against waves of warheads, bombers, zeppelins, and epic bosses. Wishlist today on Steam. Link is in the description. Greetings, spacefarers. Welcome to another episode of Starfield in Cobalt Thorium. And in this episode, it's going to be a lore episode. I'm sorry. We got to do it at some point, though. So, today is the day where we're going to start putting stuff into storage here. I want to make sure we actually read it because I'm kind of a full completionist. So, um, since the last episode, I did clean out... Uh, Okay, I did a couple things. I actually rebuilt, <laughs> rebuilt our starship. You know, I've been complaining about those ladders. Um, so we have a whole new starship. Maybe we'll be able to get to that in this episode. But today I want to do lore. Then I want to visit the parents. Then I want to do the Yalbang thing. And then I found a guy when I was selling stuff down the well. And um, he... It seems like he has missions for us. So I also did a couple upgrades here. Um, so the... Dissembler Technophiles uh, now has a stock on it. Uh, I renamed this to the Viper, and it's got a much bigger magazine here. So it's now 36 from um, up from 20, I believe. And then Zippy now has a suppressor. So that's nice. So we can be all stealthy with him. This is arguably our most effective gun. So just because it shoots so fast and it's like super accurate but now it's going to be quiet too so lots of stuff since the previous episode uh and i want to stash some notes oh uh yeah so the previous episode i left off in that uh zero g the place where the where the gravity kept shutting off i basically couldn't find a power station i looted the entire thing uh, but there wasn't anything of really that much of interest, so I just kind of left. So, anyway, let's go through these notes. It's cute. Like, all that frustration for, like, nothing of use. Um, alright. Notes. So we have Altair 1 survey data. Nothing. Among the graph jumps. Oh, jeez. I think we've read this before. I know we've read this before. So this is the um, universal, um, universal religion people. I think we will keep this and stash it. Because this is the one that was given us to buy, by our founder guy. Beta Andrasti 1, survey data, nothing. Beta Andrasti 1A, survey data. I'm going to assume that all survey data is blank. Bondar. Bondar. What do we have two of these? Oh, Bonner. They're different. Uh, let's do Captain Hogan's log. The Hooch. These guys really think I don't know what's going on. I would never have made it this far if I didn't know every single one of my men, or what every single one of my men were doing at all times. I mean, seriously. Even if I didn't, there's no way to hide the smell in their breath, or that they've stopped serving potatoes in the mess hall. Speaking of potatoes, if it wasn't for the fact the command is still sending us supplies, I'd believe it if you told me they forgot about us. I haven't heard from anyone in months. In fact, I skipped my last report, fully expecting them uh, to chew my ass out, but nothing. Zip. Nada. I'm tired of lying to these men. Uh, they're some of the best that I've had the pleasure of commanding, so I've got a plan to help with morale. Rolf is always tinkering with something, so I've gone ahead and asked him to rewire the emergency broadcast system. Instead of that siren that can be heard for miles, we're going to have a party, and I know just where to find the hooch. Okay, I know that we've read that one before. Clover McKenna's diary. I have to admit, this is this business with Saburo is keeping me up at night. I can see how it's starting to wear on him, personally and professionally. Saburo is an honorable man. Pride won't allow him to accept my money. But what he doesn't understand is that this game is rigged. Even in good times, variable interest rates are designed to landslide you. Okay, so this is that... The... Um, the girl in that... 
Oh my god. What's the name of it? The people that we sabotaged for Ryujin. Is it Ryujin? I don't even know. Um, so we've read that. I can skip that. Code review. Tell, Wo tell Woodson to revert that fix from the weapons test. It malfunctioned and luckily enough, there was no live ammo on the factory line models. We really averted disaster on that one. The package that they modified even had a dependency that would the f af affect the model A's. There's no excuse. It's been three weeks since that change went in. It's already been brought up multiple times. I won't ask again. Okay, so we also have Combatech Catalog 3. Cool looking. Why can't I? Okay. So now it's spinning. Ooh, we've never seen one of these. We have seen that. That's a drum beat. I forget what these are called. Aren't these the same? Just with different grips and stuff? I'm not actually sure. Uh, we, I think we've seen this. We've definitely seen this. So, a couple new weapons in here. Slightly increases the range and accuracy of Combatech weapons. Okay. Confidential informant. Financial disclosure. Ranger Lillian Hart's request for 1306 credits for ongoing investigation has been approved. The credits that were delivered to the confidential informant are Ryujin Apartments number 305 as requested via dead drop with maximum discretion. I remember when we got that. So we got a couple constellation guides here. We go where no one dares. That looks a lot like the spacing guild ships from Dune in the movie. Uh, the David Lynch movie and the new new movie, but in it has like an opening here instead of this whatever this is. That might be an engine. This might be this might be from behind. In fact it probably is, because that's definitely an engine. Anyway. Oh no. Notes. Where were we? Constellation Guide 2. In terms of fleet orders, we scouted the perfect base on Bissell 3. A little outpost with a bunch of bookworms that spend their time doing god knows what. Best part is, it's completely unguarded. Take care of anyone there, but we could get ourselves a secluded spot to do whatever we need without anyone figuring out. Easy job, don't screw this up. And we have the Cyber Runner Cipher, number one. Okay, we got some kind of blasty gun here. The Megacorps have met their match. Better beams for wet work withdrawals. So this adds a bankable auto attempt for hacking. Okay, that's kind of cool. Actually, what did this give us? Outposts permanently produce uh, resources 5% faster. Okay. We have Delgado's directive. Crimson Fleet, this is Delgado. You have all been spreading far and wide across the settled systems, just like we talked about. Do not stop. Free Star Collective, United Colonies, they think the galaxy is theirs. They are wrong. It belongs to the free people of the Crimson Fleet. It always has. We are just reclaiming what is rightfully ours. And we will use their own selfishness and arrogance against them. Those of you old enough to grow hair remember the Colony War. Remember those morons fighting and dying over nothing. They built facilities all over. Facilities that are still there, intact and abandoned. Just waiting for someone to come in and set up shop. That someone is the Crimson Fleet. So go! We've definitely heard that before, so... Uh, Disciple Slate. Ship of Record Core Kinetics. Invoice. Three crates of military arms and armament. One crate of documentation and ammunition. Destination, shipping container RX-15-3, Neon. Delivery status unknown. We've tracked your container to Ebside Warehouse designation EG-1. It will unfortunately take us at least two weeks to get your shipment due to external factors. Thank you for your patience. And that was uh, the external factors. Ebside is considered a hostile war zone by our insurer. A full combat team must accompany the delivery agents. All right. Draft of reinforcements request. U309, reinforcements request. I do not believe you. I do not believe you understand the tactical situation. We cannot wait one week. We cannot even wait one day. We need reinforcements now or it's... And that is cut off. 
All right, we'll stash these. We are up to E. So let's do it. Stashing away. I think we have a lot of notes in here already. Huh? Look at all this stuff. Um. All right, inventory. We're doing A through E. All right. Ecliptic communique number two. I'll start on that stuff. Uh, ba -bum. Inventory. Um, notes. Attention, ecliptic personnel. We've received viable intel on the location of another colony war era facility, specifically a research lab. It's somewhere in the Narian system, possibly already occupied by pirates of the Crimson Fleet. As has already been communicated by Commander Creek, you have full authorization to claim the facility for ecliptic and appropriate anything deemed viable for our combat operations. If the base is, in fact, under the control of the Crimson Fleet or anyone else, command grants full authorization to eliminate that threat using any means necessary. Captain Bales out. Interesting. And now we have emergency protocol. Warning, the pirates have tracked one of your delivery ships back to our location. All facility workers are expected to follow emergency protocol. <coughs> Excuse me. If able, destroy all confidential information and proprietary technology. Follow evacuation procedures as described by your supervisor. If captured, do not reveal any confidential information. Jeez. Emergency transmission one. I can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Oh, we've already gone through this. Range of what? You've given the fleet a lot of trouble, Baron. And that? Eh? Explosives warning. Please, please, please put the explosives in storage. Those things are highly vi highly vi uh bleh. Those things are highly volatile and can blow up if put under too much stress. Facility workers note. Daryl, I've told you a million times, none of our business and it's none of our business what the client is going to do with their shipment, so stop asking. It makes them nervous and it's bad for business. I don't care if it's weapons, chems, or tech. It doesn't matter. What the client does with them is their problem. If something happens, we don't want to be implicated. This is becoming a bad habit of yours. Don't let it happen again. So you have Freestar Captain's Log number two. And this permanently has 1% chance to disarm enemies with unarmed or melee strikes. And we have the Grimsy survey data. Grunt issue one. Ballistic weapons permanently do an additional 5% critical damage. Thanks. We have three, which also does it. And seven does it. We also have Gunslinger's Guide. It says Freestar Ranger. Gunslinger's Guide. Play to win. Revolver. Lawgiver. Peacemaker. Rocket launcher. Regulator, etc. So, that's the lawgiver. We've actually seen all of these guns. Yeah, we've seen all these. I think this is the Bridger right here. Or maybe it's the... Not actually sure. I always get the Bridger and the one of the other ones confused. Because they just look so similar. Alright, Gunslinger's Guide 03. Permanently reload and draw Laredo weapons with an additional 5% speed. And we have Gunslinger's Guide 4. It looks exactly the same and has the same benefit. We have I'm a Genius. I've done it! I was okay with the jerks upstairs setting unrealistic goals and forcing us to work crazy hours for S pay. But take away my coffee and I'm going to go crazy. I found some schematics for those automated workers and have been installing them around here. And through sheer brilliance, I've modified them to brew coffee. That's right, walking coffee pots. Doesn't taste that great, but it sure is strong. All right, we're up to K. Kindy survey data. We have Crick's journal entry 01. Uh, store prices are permanently reduced by 2%, and you permanently sell items for 2% more on top of other, any other bonuses. This looks like Crimson Fleet logo. That's actually a really great logo with that making everything out of hexagons. I have to say, this is pretty good. 
<coughs> so we have last will and testament. Um, I'm not really sure if we've read this, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if it's legally binding, but here goes. I've lost it all. All my credits. I've lost my ship. I'm going to pay for this hotel room. Oh, this is the one that we got at the Red Mile. Yep, I'm going to run the Red Mile. Okay. Lockdown protocol. Actually, there's a next tier. Okay, there is actually not a next tier. Lockdown protocol. Advisory. Facility lockdown. All security personnel report to weapons sector. Use of force will be required. All other personnel locate the nearest room and lock all doors. Wait until emergency gives you an all clear signal. Not sure where that's from. So let's put away everything from E to L. Still 79 left. Goodness. Oh, wrong time. Notes. Medical report. Patient suffered severe indigestion. I had to clean out his stomach. After analysis of the stomach's contents, we noticed there were many worms. Oh, oh I feel nauseous just reading that. I also noticed that the patient's breath was terrible despite having good oral hygiene. Okay, so they must, like, grow in his stomach. Message to Dumas. After you pick up the goods, proceed to Adromenus 3. Coordinates are closed. Drop off the goods outside the target location. Separate personnel will handle the rest. Avoid detection at all costs. We might not be able to put this one away. Uh, there might, I think there's a mi uh, mission associated with that. Message to Valerie. From XXX Redacted to... Valerie Mascara, I'm sick and tired of Lily and Hart breathing down our neck. So it's time to end her once and for all. Use the abandoned supply depot on Andromeda's 3 and drop some breadcrumbs to lead her there. Call it a weapons cache. We've read this before. Martha, survey data. I mean, in fact, most of these were we, we've read before. Miller's slate. Gonzalez is going to end up killing Parker one of these days. What does he think is going to happen? Uh, mess messing with a guy twice his size. He's an obnoxious little weasel that just won't go away. Kind of hope he takes it too far the next time so Gonzalez snaps and ends the whole thing. I know it's a shitty thing to say. Oops. I try not to swear, but... <laughs> I end up swearing a lot when I get frustrated, so I suppose it doesn't matter. Still, I hope it, uh, I hope it happens. Okay, mineral survey. Hyperspectral survey of frost indicated a high possibility of a significant amount of cesium near the surface. Follow uh, recommended follow up by a survey team. There are missions associated with these three, so I don't think we can get rid of them anyway. Mining monthly zero five, apparently increase grip tool weapon damage by an additional two percent. And we have five and eight. We have Mer two survey data, Montera survey data, Neon Knights, Neon Knights custom pharma that makes you glow, Steve. I don't know if I've actually ever looked at this. Permanently grants the recipe for Chem Steve, which slows down time and increases the range damage for a limited time. We have another one here. Neon Knights. So this gives you O2 shot. Permanently grants the recipe for Chem O2 shot, which increases oxygen regeneration for a limited time. We have Neon Knights 5. Add a jack. Grants the recipe for Adijack, which removes addiction penalties, and grants a bonus to research. Hold on one second. Um, okay. We're good. Sorry. Uh, no more target practice. The LT shut down the firing range. Says the noise disturbed scientists making... Uh, says the noise disturbed scientists on their power walking breaks. Goofiest thing I ever saw. Scientists pumping their arms and walking circles around the building. Their faces all intense like they're in a battle. Doesn't Taurus know that the target practice serves a purpose? It keeps us on edge. Uh, it, it keeps our edge. I'm not sure what the hell their walking does. Well, they probably need some cardio. They're probably sitting down all day. 
Note from June Carter. Mr. Sobat, uh, Sobakin, sorry to contact you out of the blue, but I have an exciting prospect for you. I'm a senior recruiter at Strout Eklund Staryard, and we've been eyeing you for, and your career for some time. Though Ms. Ulbricht is a household name among Starship engineers, uh, few realize how important a role you played at uh, at Taiyo. Oh, okay, yep. I know uh, we picked this up at um, at um, Taiyo in the ship design. So somebody's trying to poach them. Nova Galactic Manual 04. Training protocols and advanced orbital telemetry. Space Flight Center flight manual for Nova Galactic. Apparently reduces <clears throat> fuel need for a grav jump by an additional 1%. And uh, this one also does 1%. Different cover, though. On space mining. Chapter 3. S uh, mining suit maintenance. Of all the hazards that exist in space, you'll find yourself easily forgetting about CO2 buildup in your respirator. That's a huge mistake. Okay, we've read this before. That's like one of the first messages we got. Parker Slate. This gig is amazing. I've never had it so easy. I get to pretty much sit on my ass all day and push a couple of buttons. Oh, and Rhodes has been giving me an extra ration every couple days to mess with Gonzi every now and then. Which, let's face it, it's kind of fun anyway. It's a win-win. Prior first class, Russo's Log. I think we've read this before. Maybe I haven't. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, first class, D. Russo. These guys think I'm crazy. And they say I've been out here too long. But I'm not crazy. I'm smart. Real smart. Come have a drink with us, Russo. They said. But while everyone is getting drunk and punching each other in the face out there, I'm watching, waiting, thinking. And I think I've got to figure it figured out. Okay, we have read this before. Private uh, Brown's Log, Boredom. Yeah, we've read this before, too. So these are all from that place where they made an underground boxing ring and they were moonshining after being forgotten by whatever um, military they were part of. Okay. Re-company growth. Staff, due to an increase in sales performance this past quarter, our company has graciously continues to invest. This is the one about coffee, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Company property. Probably also about coffee. Yep, this is the robots being told to, or being changed to brew coffee while they walk around. Structural report. I brought this up before, but Shannon doesn't uh, doesn't seem to grasp the situation. If we don't do something about the system con connectors for the cryogenic projects, even a minor failure, uh, this facility uh, we could have facility wide issues. I know you understand the problem, but I want to remind you that the exterior environmental changes are potentially exacerbating the situation. We can't control these factors. Please talk to Shannon. As much as I enjoy working with you, I don't want to be trapped in this ice tomb forever. Thanks, Charlie. Uh, this mess is crazy. <laughs> no. Um, recruitment and retirement. Marshall. Okay, yep. This is the one about the main guy of the Rangers uh, retiring. Uh, repairs report. It's been a month since we found this H3 extraction site. I'm not sure why it was abandoned, but it seems to be in good shape. Repairs are almost complete, and we'll be able to get things up and running soon. I've got to find a spare alternator, though. Rescue protocol. Rescues en route. All personnel are expected to promptly uh, resort, report to the docking bay for evacuation procedures when notified. Failure to comply in a timely manner will result in disciplinary action. We'll go to uh, Ricardo Bosch's notes. Xenofloor notes on specimen, blah, blah, blah. 
uh, phenotypic plasticity, high seedling performance, overall inability to thrive in non-native environments, grade A plasticity rating based on general adaptability to known biomes, as well as durability in artificial habitats, leaf and stem anatomy. DNA sequencing and deconstruction of morphological data shows strong xenobiological structure. Electron microscopy scans and preliminary data on chemical reactions to stimuli indicate that this may be a candidate for further study. Okay, so that's from that lab where they were studying like alien plants and stuff. This and animals. Riley on an on onion wares slate. Jeez, oh, that's a name. I think we've read this before. Yeah, we've read this before. That was on um on the ship where the robots went hay haywire. So we've Rolf's reply. Listen, newbie, I really don't think this is a good idea. But since you've been asking incessantly, you can finally leave me alone. Sure, everyone's getting a little crazy. I could use a drink, but better keep my name out of your mouth when you get caught. I made second lieutenant, and it'll be my ass on the chopping block. See me, and I'll get you started. Scrounge up some copper pipe, pipe a kettle, and a vacuum and vacuum tape. Should be perfectly safe when you're done. Trust me. Okay, so that is also from that that base where they set up the Fight Club and the um. And the, uh, oh my god, Moonshine Distillery. Alright, so we're up to S. Let's stack these. Transfer. What? They're actually letting us do these? What do we need this for? Ricardo Bosch's notes. Oh, shit. Uh, did we accidentally stash anything? <sighs> Damn it. No, we didn't. Okay. I'm actually kind of surprised that allowed, that allowed us to stash the survey data. Let's make sure that those are still missions and that we, they didn't get, like, canceled now. No, they're still here. No, that's not it. Yep, they're still here. Hmm. Okay, inventory. Back to the notes. So which one is this again? Why is this important? Okay. Scrapping Nira. Welcome to Nira, Prospector. If you're about to begin the exploration of one of the most dangerous but profitable ventures of your life, due to incredible toxicity of the environment, Nira's mech fields remain the most intact in the galaxy, <laughs> which means they're ripe for the picking. The primary scrapping sites are as follows. Angel Redout, the Syracuse, Parduk Pass, Warren's Gulch. Now get out there and get scrapping. All right, so we got Secret Outpost. Loyal to your crew, I get it. Screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get to Deneb IB or Deneb 1B. There's a secret outpost we're trying to crack. Once in a lifetime opportunity. You will regret it for the rest of the life, uh, for the rest of your life, if you don't get your ass over here. Security risk in the locked yard. Security risk in the locked yard. Okay. The safe was confiscated from the Braddo brothers, and is still sitting in the locked yard. Okay, we've read this before. Security risk. Uh, we've already done that. Shaw game. Wel welcome. Welcome to our little camp. It doesn't look like much. But I know you'll find a place for yourself here. It certainly beats living under the thumb of the Freestar Guards. 
Plus, the Ashta don't come around here. Yeah, we've read that before. Siwu Guan Investiture. Ooh. In the name and authority of the Sanctum Universum, to whom it may concern, let it be known that Siwu Guan is in charge of matters for the Universalist in Aquila City Freestar Collective, signed Keeper Achilles. Okay, we've got Solomon's Adventures. Solomon Co's Aquila Adventures, Night Terrors. Uh, Killa Comics Group. Apparently adds 5% to melee weapon critical damage. Well, that's not a melee weapon. Okay, we got a different cover here. Trapped in the Maw of Malevolence. Approved by the Comics Code Authority. <laughs> Written by P. Lime, illustrated by Chunga. So that's issue number two. This one doesn't have a comics code and it doesn't say who made it. Interesting. We have five. Solomon Coe's Aquila Adventures. Aquila the Beautiful. No comics code, no authors. Space or Communication 1, I'm pretty sure we've gone, we've gone through all of these. Listen up, scumbags. The assholes are on the move and we've got to be ready. No, not the UC. Not the Freestar Collective. The ones that matter. Pirates, mercs, and those religious nut jobs. Mm. We always knew there were some places left over from the colony war. Bases, labs, stuff like that. But now it's come out that there are even more. A lot more. Spread all over the settled systems. Looks like the Big Two didn't play by their own rules when they were playing war. Now it's a friggin' feeding frenzy. Everyone trying to find them. Trying to use them. So why shouldn't we? We have just as much right as they do. So let's go looking. I don't know if I've listened to that one before, so that's kind of interesting. Here's Spacer Communication 2. Calling all spacers. You know who you are. Because that's what they call us, isn't it? The ones in charge. The ones who never respected us. This one I have heard. I know that. The United Colony. Star Station... RE-939 Resident Transcription, Dr. Mullins. So friendly wager on the game? No, I don't bet on bat... I don't bet on bat ball. I get upset when they lose, and then I have to pay for it on top of it? It's a friendly wager, designed to be low impact. Yeah. Like friendly fire, it'll kill me all the same. Oh, come on, loser. Has to, uh, loser has to write the abstract for the winner's next journal. But I'm a better writer than you. Either way, I'm going to get punished. Okay, okay, point taken. By the way, have you talked to Dr. Baines yet? I'm putting it off for now. I'm hoping Mast will kill his funding. Fingers crossed for you. Do you know the other guy? He, he called me a penitent. I had to look it up. I'm not sure if it's an insult. If Dr. Baines said it, it's probably a threat. All right, so we have 939 security log. I think we need to increase the number of emergency shuttles. Why? Even the smaller ones have pretty high capacity. According to the math, we've got exactly the right amount to fully evacuate. Yeah, but real life doesn't work that way. Say we get attacked, or the oxygen malfunctions. If a group of four people are fleeing for their lives, do you think they're going to wait for another two before taking off? You're right. I'll put in a request. Thanks. Hey, Lieutenant, I don't mean to pry, but, uh, is that what happened on that other star station? Yeah. We only had one ship, and a handful of us just boarded when the gunfire started. People started to panic, and I had to make the call. Leave and risk abandoning people, or stay and risk getting us all killed. Damn. I'm sorry. Point is, we got a lot of families on this station. We've I don't heard want this them before. to have to make the same choice. Alright. Stellus D survey data, stolen sandwich. Uh, we read that, I think, in the last episode. Maybe it was the one before that. Supervisor log one. Supervisor's log. It's day two of Argus Extractor's Victera dig. Freestar Collective Claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. Site setup was fairly painless. New record for us 18 hours, including the elevator. The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. We've listened to that Time before. To supervisor's log supplemental. 
still day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Three star collective claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another ore run. Vectera's got enough mid level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. That this is another one of Barrett's special orders. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the wheelies. I think we're going to find... something. I just have no idea what it could be, or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, we'll be done with this rock in five days, when the transport is supposed to come back for extraction. All right. I think we've read that or listened to that before, but I wasn't sure. Sybil Maze Slate. Ever since that dust up with the spacers near Bessel 2, the robots on this ship have been acting strangely. Okay, yeah, we've done this before. This is one of the ones where the robots um, uh, attack and kill the crew. Alright, we have Tagurit. Congratulations! You've been noti uh, noticed... Wait. You've noticed our fridge is empty. You must be very thirsty in the tequila heat. I know I am. And I'm sure your friends are too. The task before you is now to go into town, get some more beer. I know you can do it. I believe in you. Now go. We have terminal use. Mandatory. Diego. I'm having a terminal put in at your desk. And by Solomon Co., you're going to learn to use the damn thing. I know you you like to do things the old-fashioned way. But you're, miss you're missing out on, on important messages. And it ain't fair to rel rely on the other rangers to keep you up to speed all the time. I ain't gonna take no for an answer, so don't kick up a fuss about it. I don't care how stubborn you are. You're getting the terminal, and that's that. Blake. If New Atlantean, two. Gourmet living. New food, new drink recipes. Beer, wine, cheese, bread, homemade. Permanently grant the recipe for panache food item. Okay, exactly the same. But this gives us the astral sliders. New Atlantean 5. Same. But gives us the shepherd's pie. We have the origin of species. I grabbed this because somebody mentioned this book. And I don't remember who it was. But I want to make sure we have a copy of it. Because it does seem like a rare book. Alright, so they abandoned us. I can't believe consolidated mining abandoned us. Apparently the installation wasn't profitable enough. I should have listened to Corey. These megacorps have no humanity. It's always money first. What a bunch of assholes. I haven't heard anything from them since they cut us off. And we're about to run out of supplies. On top of that, we don't have a ship to... to who... Wait. We don't have a ship who can't let us go home. Okay, that's a typo. Uh, I'll try to craft an, an emitter and send an SOS to a passing ship. If this doesn't work, we could be stranded. If this is it, whoever finds this, my name is Sylvij Schloss. Holy crap, what a name. Uh, I've been drifting with no fuel for over a week now. With no signs of rescue. To all those I have wronged, I wish that I could say I'm sorry. But the truth is, I don't know if that's true. This isn't how I would have liked to die. But the guilt and uncertainty have driven me to take my own life. Goodbye. Okay, so I remember that. Um, this is crazy. Listen, I realize we're kind of... I realize we're kind of known for being badasses and all that. But seriously, clean up after yourselves. We have Tracker's Primer 1, Tracker's Alliance, Preparedness Primer. From Tab... Tabunti Hunters. Tabo... Wait. 
Uh, TA Bounty Hunters, that's what it is. Dot co, 15 credits. Accelerated combat training. All right. Currently increased ballistic weapon damage by 5%. We like that. All right. All the same covers, all the same benefits. And we have UC Captain's Log, Balawa. Most passengers are relatively, or most of the passengers are relatively uneventful, but the final entry has an urgent, even panicked tone. I barely have time to dictate to this. They need me back on the bridge. We were attacked by three cruisers, all bearing Free Star Collective markings. It was a coordinated offensive. They came out of the debris field. Three ships, three different directions, three different weapon types, then took off. We're nearly crippled when Roe can't even get the grav drive spun back up, and I can't believe my stupidity. Classic insurgency tactic, and I walked right into it. Jumanville Glen Ong Tan. What? Okay, whatever. Great, the textbooks were wrong. F uh, great, in the textbooks for all the wrong reasons. Okay, so I, this sounds like Scottish, or maybe Irish. Ong Tang Ke Kalidia? Anyway. Okay, so that's... We're getting towards the end here. So this is UC Captain's Log. So we'll just try to put everything up to you away. And then I have to remember to put one more. Okay, then we'll, let's put those away because there's active missions involved there. Should be able to get through to the end here. Okay, United Colonies Defense Manual, UC Third Edition, Department of UC Marine Corps. Uh, distribution restricted. Further increases magazine size and weapon bash. Wait, further increases magazine size and weapon bash critical chance for all Allied armaments guns. And that's the same. And that's the same. And that's the same. All right. Urgent. Read immediately. Decryption sequence complete. Man, the rangers are onto us. They're going to find you. When they do, an alias won't protect you. The best is to hunker down somewhere safe. Your hideout in the old asteroid mine at Sakharov should be ideal. Maybe steal one of the clinic's emergency ships. Okay, yep. Yep. So we have Varun Scripture. Permanently increases sneak bonus by an additional 1% and melee sneak attack damage by an additional 5%. Okay. We got some Varuns. Ooh, this one's different. Permanently increased sneak bonus by 1%. Well, this one says an additional 1%, and this one only says 1%. But the numbers are actually the same. Interesting. Varun Zealot orders. Brothers and sisters, now is the time. We must spread the word of the Great Serpent across the settled systems. We must speak. And if the unbelievers refuse to listen, then they will be purged. We must go to their places, where they are, where they were, where they will be. We must pave the galaxy with scales, and all who stand before us will fall. Wow. Uh, Vanguard Moira Slate. This is Vanguard Moira. Sorry if I had to reclaim some UC property, but this whole star yard is overrun. I've patched up my ship, and I'm heading to Neptune. Going to put in another request to get the fleet out here to deal with these spacers. But until then, if any of you thugs are listening, I'm the damn ghost stealing your stuff in the night. Clear out while you have the chance. All right. Well, we have Vanguard Space Tactics number four. You see property, Vanguard 
distribution restricted, I guess it says. UC Vanguard Space Combat Tactics. Uh, ship energy weapons permanently deal 5% more damage. And we have two of these. Same cover. Same bonus. Vectera survey data. Okay. Victor compound. Managed to bribe a transport pilot who got some footage of Victor compound. Pilot counted a whole mess of syndicate goons, at least 10 plus. He sold me his ID badge for a thousand credits. He wouldn't sign for it. So the rangers will just have to take my word. The rest of the slate contains details about Victor Compound. The compound is on McClure 2 and it lists its coordinates. There are digital records of a fake ID and details of a cover story to infiltrate the compound. There are no references to Lillian Hart. All right. Wife's letter, Michael. I don't know if you'll ever get to read this. I feel like I should write it anyway. In case something happens. If if somehow... If this somehow ever finds its way to you, I hope it brings you the closure that you need. The ship has been getting bombarded by solar flares. The system... The systems are out and the engines are dead. If by some miracle we are able to get things up and running again, another flare hits us and we're back to square one. So, I've been sending SOS signals... Uh, but so far, it's just been radio silence. I don't think we're, we'll be able to get, I don't think we'll be able to get out of this one. I don't really know what else to say, but I, I just want to warn you. Uh, I just want to warn you. I just want, I just want you to know that I love you. Give the kids a hug and a kiss for me, Anne. Okay. And then we have X9 report, which I know we've read before. Yes. That's everything. That took, like, 45 minutes. <laughs> Jeez. We have to do this more often, and so that it's not building up like this. All right. And that's that. Now our mass is nice and light here. Um, I feel like we put away a gun that we shouldn't have. Hopefully I didn't sell it. What was in seven? I think we were trying out a pistol. All right, well, I think that this is probably fine. Um, all right, so now what I want to do is I actually want to load up on resources because I want to get them into the ship. I believe that whenever we're using a um, crafting station, you automatically have access to the ship inventory, I think. Man, this stuff is heavy. Try to grab a little bit of everything. Um, how much more can we fit? A little over a hundred. We think that we'll need for hypercatalyst. That sounds. Hmm. And we have a lot of feeling. Probably could use some of this membrane. I need some monoprop. Maybe some neodymium too. What are we up to? I'm not too sure. 
too bad yet. I want to get some of those structural supports too. Probably need some sealant. Structural material. Where's the... There's like a strut. Now we can take these. Should probably take a bunch of this. on this fiber. Oh, we still have a ton of mass left. Okay, we'll keep going. to put some stuff back. Resources. Five pounds worth of stuff. You can get rid of some of this helium three probably. Um so we need to put away ten. Perfect. Well, I mean that's probably gonna take up the entire episode. I apologize if that was incredibly boring, but it needed to be done. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed this. And if you have, please like, maybe comment, maybe share, maybe subscribe. New episodes every day at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. and Canada. I'm Cobalt Thorium, and I hope to catch you in the next one, where we'll continue what we were going to do in this one, but ran out of time. So we'll start by visiting the folks. We'll visit Galbank, and there's a couple other places I want to get here on Jemison before we move away. So I hope that'll interest you and I hope you'll join me for the next one. Bye-bye.